morning, everyone. I'm Nina Davori. Welcome to The Complexion Diaries. This is my life where I share just life advice and all the things happening with all of you and my learnings along the way. And today I am going to a speaking engagement. I love speaking. I do it all the time. Thought I would do a little vlog today. Um, and so my last video, or I guess not my last video, one of my last videos, I did like a haul of everything I got of L'Oreal owned brands. So today as I'm getting ready, I thought I would try some of those new products. First thing I'm doing is the YSL primer. I'm gonna do an entire like wear test today and see how it wears. So the only thing I have on my face right now is sunscreen. Well, I guess it's an SPF and moisturizer in one. So normally I would do like Kiehl's moisturizer and then put this on, but so we're gonna put it to the true test. I was like, let me do a little bit more. Um, let me just do this product and see what happens. I'm officially trying the Bye Bye Under Eye Dark Spots. This is in the shade Tan Neutral 42. And I like this because it came, it comes with hyaluronic acid in it and niacinamide. So like, it feels like you're getting a little skincare while you're also correcting those dark spots which is why we're doing it. I am so excited for this Tante Dole foundation. I forgot it existed and then I was like, yes, I'm loving the shade matching, all of it, so I'm gonna try this on. I was in a campaign years ago for, for this when it came out and they reformulated it recently and I feel like this is honestly one of the perfect shades. It's tan neutral and I think there's that little bit of blue pigment if you are a neutral girly like me in terms of color correcting. I am slathering this on like it is frosting. Like it's also holidays right now. All I can think about is food and like I am giving myself like a generous amount which I never really do. So we're gonna see how this goes but that's why we have a beauty blender. Oops, that's why we have a beauty blender. We're just gonna blend all of this out. This is so pretty. I mean this finish is so nice. I feel like the shade matching is perfect. Um, I'm really happy with how this coverage is looking. Like for me today with this acne going on, like, you know, it's just not my best day. And you know what? That's okay. It's more than okay. But I am getting paid to be speaking. There is a certain expectation around my appearance and I'm gonna make that even though the words I'm saying are about beauty standards, I will be talking and I do need to sort of have some sort of put together look. I think there's a difference between being put together and like covering up because you don't like yourself. So there's that. Okay, but it's too, it's too early for this, you guys. We're gonna keep it light right now because it's gonna get heavy later. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my brows. I like that brow pencil. It's a little more waxy than I would like, so I'm going to just like lightly go in with my hourglass one and fix the beginning part of my brow to get that feather look that I really prefer because brows are personal, you guys. They are. Moving on to concealer. This is a new YSL Touche Clot Concealer. It is in the shade 6.5 and I want to give this a fair shot. Watch like a ton squirt out, but that's the theme of today. Keep, keep going, keep clicking. Anything? I really hope I'm doing this right. There's no use instructions, but I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Oh, there it is, okay. Of course, now it is spewing out, but yeah, there we go. We got quite a bit, quite a bit. Okay, this is great. Okay, good. Uh, let's put it in. Okay, okay, the color is nice. It's not necessarily a uh, like super lightning. It looks kind of more similar to my skin tone, which, you know what, that's okay. Still giving us something here. This feels really nice though. It feels really creamy. There's a little bit of a reddish tone to it, which I'm not like totally mad about, but this honestly, I feel like this is adding just like another layer of coverage and really getting into the dark spots or really evening out kind of everything. It looks nice. I'm not mad by this. I 100% am gonna do a wear test on this, but I am gonna mix it with a lighter shade because, because I do need to. Although this looks like really good for like just an easy natural finish. Maybe I should just leave it like that. Should I? Should I not? What should I do? You know what, let me just add 
I like this coverage a lot, but I'm just gonna add a tiny, tiny dot of this Tarte concealer, like literally just pushing a tiny dot in because it's just one shade, like a little shade lighter, like it's that little brightening effect. So it looks like I had, you know, a, like, a little more bright eyed and bushy tailed, especially because I'm not speaking until six this evening and it's like not even 10 a.m. this right now. I know this is gonna settle in and to prevent a little settling in, I'm gonna add like, this is the Baked Guns, it is the Makeup Forever powder. I haven't used this in a very, very long time. I really wanna believe my gut and tell me that like today is the day that I should use this powder and we're gonna find out if today is the day. So let's just tap, tap, tap make a mess and set that under eye. Now we're gonna pray to the makeup gods that I made the right decision. But you know what? I really feel like I am. Like the worst thing is that I just don't want it to look like patchy. Tapping everything in with a beauty blender also helps. You know what? I'm really happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to do a wear test on the base, concealer, um, dark spot, color corrector, and see what happens. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I will give you an update. You will obviously see the wearing throughout the day, but I'm gonna finish that off camera, and then we gotta go. Okay, got the rest of my makeup on. I packed my bag. I ordered DoorDash, so yay! Coffee and Starbucks is here. I feel like it's just on mornings like this. It takes the pressure, the food situation pressure off. Um, but I have to go pick up my dress, so I'm gonna go run down and do that. <laughs> I got my Rent the Runway. You guys, I've been doing Rent the Runway for like the past 10 years, literally. And I have just like a really great system of the designers and brands that they carry that I know I'm gonna love, I know I'm gonna wear. So I had actually planned this little number, you can't really see it, for tonight. I'm gonna put the rest away. My closet could definitely be more organized. Should I do a closet tour? I want to, I want to, I don't know why I'm asking. I wanna do a closet tour, but I just need to get it like a tiny bit more organized. So, all right, I'm gonna pack this away. My kite is here and then we're gonna go. I just got the, the car, so I should be at yours in like 10 minutes. Okay, all right, I will come down. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay. okay, I picked up the kite. Also, this was super easy. Like, if you live in Manhattan and you are renting a car, highly recommend kite, um, not sponsored. None of my videos are, but literally they will pick it up and drop it off to you. So like this morning, I don't have to worry about like, okay, I have to go get the car, I have to do this. Like, it comes right directly to my door. They wait like up to 10 minutes for you, um, which obviously I needed and um, then they just hand you the keys and you show them their, your license and you're on your way. So even on the return, I don't have to worry about it because then they'll be there to pick it up, for, like to pick it up from you. So you're not like driving around worrying for, like looking for parking or any of that. So it's just like a really convenient, it's my first time using it and so far I love it. I'm waiting for Ryan because I forgot my car charger and I need that for today. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go get Mama D. We're gonna be on our way. We are going to Penn State today. I'm speaking at State College. It's also really weird. I've never vlogged in a car, like the amount of driving I do is so little now, um, but it's starting to snow a little, so yay. Well, hopefully it doesn't snow too much, but I'm gonna go pick up Mama D. Oh, someone's called me. <laughs> we got Mama D, road trip. Yay! We're actually gonna go to Home Goods first because yeah, we're just I'm very excited about Home Goods because we, we had I was like, suburban Home Goods is like the best thing ever because we can't, like there's there's no Home Goods here, first of all. So every time I go somewhere suburbia, I'm like, yeah, let's go to Home Goods. Um, so hopefully we'll find some Christmas stuff. Yeah, the little things, right? You yeah. You don't appreciate when you have them, but when you yeah. don't, then you miss them. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. And okay, bye. Dunkin' Donuts coffee stop. This is my first like pumpkin coffee that I got, and it's so yummy. And we're about halfway there. Yay! It's starting to feel like Christmas. Yay! I'm excited to get Christmas decorations. Oh, wait, why does it say it's two hours now? Oh no, okay, thank God. We're 48 minutes away. We have no ornaments for the tree. Um, 
we are hosting Christmas Eve at our house officially. This has actually been really fun with Mama D. I'm like having a really, really good time. She's a little shy on camera, but maybe she'll open up throughout the day. Throughout the day. I'm shamelessly excited about this Panera right now. Go to Panera order, broccoli cheddar soup, Fuji apple salad, and you have to get, you gotta get the bread. Also, the chips are really good too, but you need the bread to soak in the broccoli cheddar soup before getting to the soup. I'm so happy with this. It's nice, so creamy and bready. And I saw my cookie. It says it's made with love. They used to have a brownie that was really yummy, but they got rid of their brownie. That was tragic. Mm -hmm. We made it to Home Goods! Yay! I'm so excited. You see some sale signs, some Christmas stuff. There's also a Michaels, Mama D says. We're gonna do all the things. You have to get a cart. <laughs> There's so much stuff. These are cute. Do they look cheap though? Oh wait, these are cool. What about these? Yeah, the pearl is nice, right? How much is it? Thirteen. $13? That's so cheap. <laughs> I like it too. I feel like from, I like that these, this is a little bigger size though. The balls. These are cool too, mom, the big ones. There are so many cute things here. Like this one's really cute. There's like little toppers around here. I want everything. Did you get the soap dispenser? It's 550. Does it look festive? Towels are always a cute touch. Holiday towels. I like I like this set, mom. Ho 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 is cute. We made it! I have not had a shopping cart full in so long. It's definitely colder here, but we made it. College campuses are really pretty. <laughs> Wave, mom. <laughs> this is definitely the behind the scenes, non-glamorous part of my job. I have gotten ready in many a bathrooms, changed, done all the things. Also, I feel like everyone has a panic moment where you like think you're gonna die in a dress and that was mine, so that was lovely. But you know, thankfully we survived. <laughs> Deep breath. There is so much anxiety on my face with this and Mama D thankfully was able to help me get my dress zipped. I needed to fix the girls, did that, touched up. Honestly, the wear test makeup wise, it lasted pretty well. Like, look at that. I think I just touched up a little bit, a little bit of powder and put some lips on and that was pretty much it. Mama D was there. President Ben the Pudi is actually Telugu, so we had a conversation. We're waiting in the green room-ish. There's also Indian food tonight. I love when people do Indian food, like I'm not gonna lie. It's just like easy. Uh, so I speak in like 30 minutes. Also, I'm at Penn State. I don't know if I mentioned that. So this is your first time on Penn State campus. This is my third time. I spoke here once in like 2017 and then, no, 2016-ish. And then I came to watch a football game, the Michigan Penn State football game. I think it is, we are Penn State for all my Penn State people and go blue for all my Michigan people, obviously. So apparently we are in the alumni building is where, hence alumni building is where I'm at. Um, and also the president of the University of Penn State is also speaking tonight um, alongside me. And then we're gonna do a fireside chat, which should be really fun. I've never met her. Um, and she, I believe is also Telugu. My mom's like, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, it should be like a really fun evening and I'm looking forward to it. it seems like a great turnout. Yeah, so I'm gonna take like a little bit to think about what I wanna talk about. I usually go with energy and feeling and crowd and vibe. I listen to a couple conversations, like see what's going on with the room and then I kind of tailor my talk um, every place. So every place is always different. Um, so we'll see what happens tonight. Is the lighting good? Did you get my shoes? Is the lighting good? I got these on sale on Black Friday for, they were like 70% off and they're Stuart Weitzman. And I think they're still on sale. So, this is the look. 
college visits are my absolute favorite. I love meeting all of you. I love hearing your stories. I love your questions. I think I'm going to put up like a podcast of the questions you asked me and some of my answers because it's just really valuable information, I think, and really fun. Now you get to see the teardown of my speaking engagements. Um, I'm just going to get changed and then going to drive back with Mama D. But um, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and a little behind the scenes peek into what I do when I do these things. Okay, we're back in the car. Success, it was so fun. Everyone's always so nice. Like these college visits are always my favorite. If you want me to come to your college, let me know because like it is one of my favorite things to do. Um, you can find it, me on my website um, or Instagram or all the things like I'm available. Just shoot me an email. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here, but thanks for watching. Mama D and I are gonna drive and get home safe and I will see you next time. Say bye, mom. Bye. <laughs>